what up y'all so once again i'll be talking about Ja, and apparently he seems like he's just not really getting a very good image on himself at all but his latest report came out saying that the one that he caught caught on instagram was now a fake gun and for whatever beyond me I don't understand why you would come out saying it's a fake gun a month later that's just stupid if it was a fake gun and everyone was getting up an arm on it you do this cryptic post I get now it's really starting to get point to the point where it just feels like he's trying to get like some pity party he's trying to change people's impressions of him but he's doing it all the wrong way so i originally even in my original video i said he should be suspended for 20 for about 20 games i'm starting to feel like nah this dude's getting to a point he almost feels like he needs like half a season i want to defend him and put some of the blame to the nba because they were accountable to not getting ahead of this but now he's posting fake gun like now he's posting that it's a fake gun he's constantly now trying to do cryptic messages do different things and if it turns out being a real gun that it was a real gun now he's caught on record lying and openly lying which means that he doesn't want to learn from what he was doing wrong that shit's beyond me. Like, he just needs to just take accountability, whether it was a fake gun or a real gun. They told him flat out, it's not a good image for the NBA, and they don't want that being the look that they have. Simple as that, point blank. It's literally a private enterprise. It's not a whole I could just strap a gun on me because of the second amendment says I can it's just like the one video I did yesterday about freedom of speech sure you got freedom of speech but you do not have freedom of consequence and I'm starting to get to the point I don't understand why everyone has such a hard problem with understanding with with consequences you got to accept whatever comes with it because if you put yourself in that situation and you keep putting yourself in that situation it's not no one else's fault it's yours the old adage if you pretty much want to play stupid games you're going to get stupid prizes and right now, Jaw is acting on the stupid prize routine. And this dude, when this dude went to college, this guy's got a degree, so he's pretty, he's smart, but he's not you, but he's not using his head, or he's just stubborn as hell, and he wants to just be his way or no way. And look at what happened for look at what happened to a lot of players who did it their way and not the uh, league's way. Colin Kaepernick, even though he got blackballed and I kind of feel like that was unfair, he died on his sword. That was his choice. NFL made their play and they did get sued. But he made his choice and that was it. Antonio Brown. Ran and now everyone's saying CTE, which he might have, because he probably had plenty of concussions. But his actions, still, he racked them up a ton. Now, Jaw, Jaw hasn't done anything illegal, but he is racking up problems after problems over the last year and a half. Where if this dude don't stop. He could find himself out of the league quick. And I really hope he gets his head on straight. Just start being honest. Take accountability to his mistakes. And heaven forbid, 
learn from them. It's that simple. Just learn. They don't want to see you on Instagram holding a gun. Okay. So, simple as that. Put the damn phone down. Put your social media off. And go shoot your gun out in the wilderness. Or out at the range. Off camera. Off site. No reporting. Simple. Very freaking simple. People that... There's, I'm sure there's plenty of NBA players who own guns. But not a single one of them is over there repping a gun, doing everything to break contract, and trying to do it looking thug. Bro, just stop. You're better than this. I really hope you figure it out, but if you don't, Ja will be out of the league before you know it, and it's going to be his own damn fault. Not his friends, not the NBA's, his own. But that's my two cents. Let me know what y'all think. Later.